Hello everybody and welcome to Introduction to CMake, episode number two. In the previous episode we built a Hello World project using CMake and C++. In this episode we're going to talk a little bit about CTest and C Dash. Let's go ahead and open up our project. In order to use CTest in a CMake project we'll have to include the CTest module. So navigate to the CMakeList.txt file and include CTest. If you look over here in the Solution Explorer, you'll notice that we have four targets available. When we build this project, because we included the CTest module, you'll see that we get a bunch of new targets. Some of the new targets we get are the continuous target, the experimental, uh, the nightly, nightly memory check, and run test targets. And we're going to talk about most of these targets in this video. Let's go ahead and add our first test to the project. To do this, we'll use the add test command. The first parameter passed to the add test command is the name of the test. For this test, we'll just call it test1. The second parameter is the executable you want to run the test on. For that, we're going to need some CMake variables. The first variable we're going to use is the CMake current binary dir. The CMake current binary dir just points to the build directory. Now once we're in the build directory, we need to specify the executable we want to run. In this case, that's hello world. For that, we'll use the project name variable. To run our test, we'll need to use the run test target. So go ahead and build that now. And you'll see here that our test passed. A test passes if the process returns a zero value, and it fails if it returns anything else. If you go to main.cpp, you'll notice that there's no way for main to fail. It only returns a zero value. So now we're going to add code to main to allow our test to fail. All this code does is checks to see if a parameter was passed to main. If a parameter is passed, we return 1. So back in our cmakelist.txt file, we're going to go ahead and add another test to our project. This test will be called test2. Except for this test, we're going to add a third optional parameter. It doesn't matter what the value of that parameter is because in main we're just checking to see if there is a parameter. So now that we've added our second test, we need to go ahead and build our project. And then we can run our tests. In Microsoft Visual Studio, when a test fails, you get this error. This is normal. If you look here at the bottom, you have two tabs, the error list tab and the output tab. Just click on the output tab and you'll see your test output. So here you'll see we have one test passed and one test failed, which is what we expected to see. Now what I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about C Dash. Go ahead and close your IDE and open up your favorite browser. We're going to go to cdash.org. Once you get to c-dash.org, you're going to go to the Resources tab and then click on c-hosting. 
Now you'll need to either log in or register. I'm going to do this off screen so I don't have to blur out my credentials. I'll be back in just a second. Once you're logged into C Dash, you can go ahead and start a new project. C Dash is going to ask you for information about your project. The only thing that's actually required is the name of the project, so go ahead and fill that out now. To keep things simple, I'm going to skip the rest of this form. When you get to the end, go ahead and click Create Project and skip this. And over here you can say Update Later. Now we have to connect our project to the C Dash server. In order to do that, we need a ctest config.cmake file. Fortunately, C Dash can generate this file for us. Go ahead and select the Edit icon. That'll bring you back to this form we filled out earlier. If you click the Miscellaneous tab, you'll notice that there's a link here now. Go ahead and click that, and it'll ask you to download a file. Save that file to your desktop. This ctestconfig.cmake file contains all of the information necessary to connect our project to the C Dash server. All you have to do is drag this file and drop it into your project. Now our project is connected to the C Dash server. Let's go ahead and open up our IDE once again. This time we're going to run the experimental build. The experimental build will run our tests and upload the results to the C Dash server. So let's go back to the C Dash server. Back at the C Dash server, you'll notice there's a new entry for an experimental build where one test passed and one test failed. Let's go ahead and run the other test. So now we're going to run the continuous build and we'll run the nightly build as well. If we go back to C Dash and refresh, you notice we now have the experimental build as we had before, but we also have the continuous and the nightly build. You're probably wondering what is the difference between these three builds. The difference is how they interact with our version control software. The experimental build does not interact with our version control software. The continuous build attempts to update our project to match the online repository. And the nightly build attempts to update our project to match the online repository at a specific time. Currently we don't have version control software set up in a project. We're going to discuss how to set up version control in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.